hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss which is better is it obsidian or joplin so let's begin obsidian and joplin are both note-taking applications but they have some differences in terms of features and functionality which are going to discuss in this video so basically obsidian is a powerful knowledge management and note-taking app designed for individuals looking to organize and connect their thoughts ideas and information it's built around the concept of a personal knowledge base allowing users to create link and visualize their notes in a flexible and interconnected manner now basically obsidian allows users to create links between different notes and these links are bi-directional meaning clicking on a link takes you to the linked note and vice versa right some something like this one they have the links which you can create connections between your notes link anything and everything ideas people places books and beyond and you also have the graph which in we can visualize the relationships between your notes find hidden patterns in your thinking through a visually engaging and interactive graph they also have the canvas it's an infinite space to research brainstorm diagram and lay out your ideas so basically it's a limitless playground for mine and the plugins all right there's a calendar can ban data view and outliner all right it also uses a markdown for note taking and formatting providing a simple and versatile way to structure content with headers lists formatting and more all right and you can publish instantly something like this one right here and as i've mentioned earlier obsidian supports a range of plugins developed by its community extending its functionalities because users can now customize their experience by adding plugins for additional features or enhancements and um here in obsidian basically notes are stored locally by default but obsidian allows syncing with various cloud storage providers like dropbox icloud or you can also join discord discussion forum and developer docs now this provides flexibility in accessing notes across different platforms and devices all right and the app automatically generates backlinks showing which notes and reference that aids in exploring connections and relationships between notes now if you want more information about obsidian i suggest you go at their official website so here let's check about the pricing first so as you can see the uh free um the personal use which is free is free forever you have all apps featured no account or sign up required themes plugins and api and community support now if you use the commercial um uh, subscription that's going to be 50 dollars per user per year so it's really cheap right you have a commercial use license you have a 14 day free trial and a priority support you have also uh, the add-ons upgrade your obsidian experience and support independent development like obsidian sync for eight dollars and the uh, obsidian publish all right so these are the uh features that you would like you might want to take advantage to all right sync notes and across devices and to end encryption version history and priority email support now you can get the beta versions of obsidian with vip badges for only 25 dollars a one-time payment all right and that's it now let's hover to our next contender which is gonna be joplin this is an open source note-taking and to-do app that emphasizes privacy and data synchronization across multiple devices it's designed for users who prioritize security and want to manage their notes in a flexible accessible and secure manner now joplin allows users to create organize and format notes using markdown it offers various formatting options making it easy to structure and style notes now Security is a significant focus in Joplin. It provides end-to-end -end encryption for notes, ensuring that your data remains secure, especially when syncing across devices or storing it on cloud services. 
It's available on multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS, enabling users to access their notes across different devices. And it also supports various cloud storage providers like Dropbox, Nextcloud, OneDrive, and more, allowing users to sync to these um, services. Shoplin supports importing notes from various formats and services, making it very convenient for users switching from other note-taking applications because it allows exporting notes in various formats. If you want more here in Shoplin, I suggest you go at their official website. You can download the app right here. I've been using Joplin and Obsidian for quite some time, so I have a first-hand experience of the two now let's head over th to the uh, side by side comparison for both right okay so here's the thing for obsidian um newcomers to markdown or the concept of bi-directional thinking obsidian might have a steeper learning curve initially i had problems with obsidian in the in the you'll you'll get to uh, the uh thing called ignorance phase because by default <laughs> Obsidian stores notes locally. While well, this can be beneficial for some users concerned about privacy, it may it might make syncing and accessing notes across devices less straightforward for others. And certain advanced features and plugins might be a part of a paid subscription model, which could be a downside for users seeking a completely free experience. Now, where plugins extend functionality, relying heavily on a community created plugins might pose issues if they're not well maintain or if there's a lack of updates now in terms of joplin some users might find joplin's interface slightly less intuitive or let's say cluttered compared to simpler note-taking apps unlike obsidian joplin lacks a dedicated graph view or bi-directional linking which might be a downside for users who heavily rely on visualizing node connections also while joplin does support plugins its ecosystem might not be as extensive or actively developed as Obsidian's, limiting additional functionalities. But despite its synchronization capabilities, some users might encounter occasional syncing issues or delays, especially when using multiple devices or non-standard sync setup. So our verdict is that ultimately the choice between Obsidian and Joplin depends on your specific preferences and needs. Now, if you prioritize certain features like bi-directional linking or strong sync capabilities, you might lean towards Obsidian or Joplin accordingly. Now, evaluating these cons against your own workflow can help you make an informed decision. And once again, it 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 it, it pays to check the website you are always free to go at their website so because what i did in the past is just to check some information here before i download the app itself if it's you know gonna work for me for my workflow then um since it's an open source you might wanna you know try it out first compared to um, obsidian which is as we have mentioned earlier they have the uh, free uh account it's free forever however there's like a limitation when it comes to uh, their features that you can access and if you have m if you want more freedom obviously you have to purchase or subscribe to their commercial use which is 50 dollars all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in our next video